Savior Jesus Christ. Beloved, if tonight, even if you are an agent, even if you are of the highest of the ranks, if you will humble yourself and accept Jesus, the love of Christ tonight, I said you will live here never the same again. The Lord Jesus will touch you. The Spirit of God will come upon you. The power of God will overshadow you as you are liberated in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. This is one solar night where Jesus Christ is lifted above anything else, where people of the world, across the nations of the world, come to hear the word of God and their lives are turned around for the glory of God. Where sinners come and are set free. Where the redeemed are redeemed in order to go and redeem. This is one solar night. Where the captives are broken. Where chains of the captives are broken in pieces. Completely and in totality. Praise the name of the Lord. This is one solar night. Where the Lord Jesus Christ himself is our testimony. We boast in nothing but the name of Jesus. And the fact that our names are written in the books of life. The book of life, sorry. So you are at the right place. At the right time with the right people. And your life cannot be the same again. But if you are an agent. If you've been sent to come and tempt. You are at the wrong address. Just at the wrong time. Just with the wrong people. 
but these are wrong people who love you with the love of Jesus and there's nothing you can do about it. I bless God for your life and it's my prayer that tonight, so far as you have pressed, you have pressed as the support ministries and you have pressed on this life to watch. Ha. May heavens press on your life. May heavens turn your life around. May heavens deliver you from the kingdom of darkness. In the name of Jesus. I welcome you again this week. We are still on our youth seminar. If you are youth here, somebody has invited you. Beloved, you are at the right place. It is my prayer that you will not live here the same. I want you to know this. That whatever you've done in the past, whatever in fact you are doing, in fact whatever you are doing before you pick your phone to watch us now, it does not matter how deep or wide you've gone. So far as you repent tonight, freedom will be yours. Liberation will be yours in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are here, you are a young lady, you are a young man, you possess a witchcraft spirit. Hear me. The Spirit of God have pushed you to press on the button. This is your day and time of deliverance. As you humble yourself before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, not before I start me, I'm nobody, I'm nothing. I'm just like you. But so far as you will yield to the Spirit of God tonight, you cannot live. I mean, to live here the same is an error. To live in the presence of the Lord, the same is an error. Tonight, I returned from work. And uh, I was asking the Spirit of God, I said, what do you... want me to say to your people because really I don't have much to say praise the name of the Lord and uh, the Spirit of God said to me you know what I, I, I was standing here before I came on and then he said to me where you started from yesterday you did not finish it you must go in there I said ah, but I've said a few he said check it so as I've come and you have come by the grace of God, the Spirit of God will give us an insight to the Word of God. Tonight you will not live here the same. Allow yourself for the Spirit of God Himself to work on you. No man does it better than the Holy Spirit. No man does it good than the Holy Spirit. Tonight may the Spirit of God Himself visit you. May the power of God himself visit you. You may have been a Christian for years, but I want you to see Christ Jesus differently. Because I was, I began to read just as I heard before I came here. And I realized that, you know, little Samuel was lying next to the Ark of the Covenant. Little Samuel was literally lying in the presence of the Lord. But he did not know God. Mm. Somebody say, mm. The young man's mother, Hannah, had dedicated him to the Lord. Even whilst he was about to be born, yet to be born. And the moment he was born, just as Hannah decided in her heart, it did according to her promise to the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible says that Hannah took little Samuel to Eli, the priest. Samuel in the way of the Lord for Samuel to serve the Lord Jesus but what was shocking what was shocking was the fact that was the fact that the little man was before the presence of the Lord 
the hand of the Lord was upon the little man Samuel. The Bible says that because he did not know God, the Lord called him three times, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. But Samuel did not, was not able to differentiate the voice of God between the voice of man or differentiate between the voice of God and the voice of man. So I was standing here and I said, my God, you are youth here, you are young man, you are a young woman. Perhaps your parents are Christians. In fact, you grew, you've grown up in a Christian family. Praise the name of the Lord. You have grown up in a Christian family. Your parents are church goers. Your siblings, your brothers, sisters, I mean, they are Christians. They go to church. So, really, you have not dedicated your life to Jesus, but you have grown going to church. Praise the name of the Lord. And some of you uh, might have been going to church, and yes, you have taken the Lord Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior, but you wonder why I have given my life to Jesus. I believe that Jesus is, and that he is the rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Yet, I feel that I'm detached from him. Do you feel that way? I go to church. In fact, I'm part of the choir. I'm part of the youth team. In fact, when we're doing any church activities, I'm, I'm part of it. As a matter of fact, my, my, my father, my daddy is a pastor. My daddy is a prophet. My daddy is, is, is an archbishop. My daddy, in fact, they have ordained me as a pastor. But deep inside, I said, and I know deep inside that I am detached from the Lord Jesus. If you're here tonight, if you're here tonight, if you are here tonight, I feel the Spirit of God saying, come back to Christ. The Spirit of God tonight has opened His arms so wide. The Lord Jesus has opened His arms so wide. That if you come to Him, if you come to Him with a meek and a contrite spirit, He will have a deeper relationship with with you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. Father, I just want you to know that I acknowledge your presence, even in the midst of your people, and I, I, I do not take your grace for granted. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, tonight we welcome your presence in a very magnificent way. We pray that you will come and rule and reign even in the midst of your people. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. The word tells me that a broken and a contrite spirit you will not reject. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that through the blood of Jesus Christ, you will convict your people unto yourself. You will gather your people unto yourself. I pray in the name of Jesus tonight and I command the four winds of the spirit. I command the four, the seven spirits of God to go across nations of the world and gather people unto himself. Gather people unto his righteousness, unto his holiness. Father, we thank you tonight because you are here, Holy Spirit. We welcome your majesty because you are here, Jesus. You are here and you will forever be here. I pray in the name of Jesus that you bring clarity, you bring understanding. I pray in the name of Jesus that you pour wisdom upon your people, even as we believe. I pray in the name of Jesus that we will decrease, that you may increase in the name of Jesus. I pray, my Lord and my God Almighty, that you will be lifted high above every other name tonight in the name of Jesus. I pray, my Lord and my God, that Lord, my God, tonight your glory will be given to you and only you. I thank you because. 
because you are here. I thank you because you are good. I thank you because you are God. I thank you because you have brought clarity and insight. I thank you because I see you turning lives around for your good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This song is singing in my spirit, so I'll sing it. We give you glory, Lord.
and man to man, but the end thereof is death. My friend, my brother, my sister in Christ Jesus, there is nothing so attractive than a young man or a young woman who is passionate about holiness and righteousness. There is nothing that is so attractive. It's not the makeup that is, don't deceive yourself, old girl. No, no. Don't even deceive yourself that it's your body that makes you attractive. Never deceive yourself because you see, some of you, if the Lord should show you your spiritual state, if the Lord should open your eyes and show you your spiritual state, and how even demons and the Lord Jesus perceives you and sees you, you will cry. It is not makeup that looks you up, make you look attractive. As for the makeup and the things you wear tight, it helps you to attract the men who will come and use you. It helps you. In fact, it helps you to attract people who don't deserve you. Because if the problem is you have something that belongs to the devil. And of course the enemy will bring people who are connected to him to you. Have you ever seen that a magnet can connect to a wood? It's impossible. I mean how can a magnet connect to a stone? It's impossible. A magnet can only connect to a magnet. So Jesus says something. He said, for my sheep know me, and they hear my voice. Because there's something, I am in them, and they are in me, and I'm in my Father. So that connection, for the sake of that connection, they hear my voice, and they obey me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because I was wondering, why would little Samuel sit and sleep next to the Ark of the Covenant? The Ark of the Covenant that people touch and they die. This young man was able to sleep next to it yet. He did not know God. That means you can know everything about Jesus. In fact, you can preach about Jesus just like I'm doing. You can sing about Jesus. You can speak in tongues. I don't know the kind of tongues people speak. Because don't tell me you speak in tongues and go back to your prostitution and on Sunday come back and speak in tongues. Don't tell me elder that you are able to sleep with the women and come back and speak in tongues. I don't know what you're speaking. I don't know what you're speaking. Don't tell me. That is why we pray and there's no power. That's why we speak in the unknown tongue and there's no power. It does not carry no power. Even the smallest demon you can pray and the smallest demon will come and sit next to you. Do you know that you can be prayerful and a demon can possess you because you don't know Jesus? Because you are praying but you are not following the principles of the word of God. Because you are praying, but really you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus. You are just using the name of Jesus to pray. You are just using the name of Jesus to speak in tongues. You are just using the name of Jesus to tell everybody that I'm born again. I go to church. I'm a Christian. The name of my church is this. In fact, my pastor is a, uh, uh, my father is a pastor. My wife is a, a, a preacher. You will tell everybody how you know about Jesus. Yet when you sleep. A small demon is able to enter into you and sleep with you without rent. A demon is able to possess you without rent, no charge, charge rent free. Man of God, really. So do you truly think that, that sleeping with women every day, different women, the Spirit of God resides in this body? Don't deceive yourself. Do not deceive yourself. Do not deceive yourself. For those who have had an encounter with Jesus. Those who have tasted of the grace of God. Those who are falling deeply in love with Jesus. All they do is they want to please Jesus. 
It's not because it's easy, but the Spirit of God is their aid in pleasing their Master Jesus. That is why you have to question yourself, young woman, young man. Tonight I'm talking to the youth. The Lord has given you grace. You, you are a preacher. You are a young preacher coming up. Yet you cannot forego that spirit of lust. You have slept in your head. You have slept with all the women in your church in your mind. And you tell them, dress, dress and look good. Show your body. Don't listen to these old and get preachers. You as a pastor, you tell them to dress provocatively into the, the, your, your, your church. Praise the name of the Lord. My question is, what, what kind of spirit is ruling you? Because those that know their God shall do, they that know their God shall do exploit. What kind of spirit rule you? All the beautiful girls that the Lord brought to that church, you have slept with all of them. I'm not here to condemn anybody. I'm just here to help us, for the Spirit of God to help us to come to our senses. That you see, the things that we do that we call good is evil in the sight of God. You cannot tell me you are married, first wife, second wife, third wife, fourth wife, man of God, and you are still a pastor, and you are still keep on divorcing and marrying. What kind of spirit rules you? You cannot tell me that the youth will see you as an example. The youth in this end time, they are radical, they are stubborn. And it takes the spirit of God to transform such. They are looking and pleading for mentors who fears God. Mentors who are walking in holiness and righteousness. Mentors who have forgotten the things of the world. The youth, the young girls, the young men are looking for people who are seeking God and his righteousness. They are not just looking for titles anymore. They are not hungry for people who look good and put on makeup like a guy. Put on, you know, all they think about is how they will look on social media. The young people of today are possessed with strong demons. Some of them are possessed with strong demons that are controlling them left and right and they are seeking for the Spirit of God to touch and liberate them. Somebody must stand in the gap for these children. Somebody must stand in the gap for these children. Beloved man of God, you must stand in the gap for these children. Woman of God, if truly you have been called and you come everywhere to preach the word of God, you must be an exemplary person for the people of God. For the youth of this generation. Let them know that they don't need anything else apart from Jesus to make them look beautiful. They don't need much apart from walking in the holiness and in the righteousness of God. They don't need things of this world. They don't need things that come from the marine kingdom for them to look glamorous. The true glamour is in the glory of God. Beloved, true glamour is in the glory of God. I said true gla gra glamour. Talk about glamour. True glamour is a woman who fears God and is meek and humble. A woman who walks in the righteousness of God. A young man who fears God, who has exerted his energy into the things of God. A man of God who stands even in times of trouble, in times of test, in times of pain, in times of hunger, in times of poverty, and proclaim that the salvation of the Lord to the people of God. That is true glamour. I see true glamour. True glamour is a young man who will carry the word of God across the nations of the world and tell the truth of God, the undiluted word of God, just like it is. True glamour is a young woman who will speak the undiluted word of God. Even when people are talking otherwise, when people are teaching people otherwise, the true glamour, the true sons and women of God are those who have left everything. Who have left everything. Everything of this world. Everything of this world. They have forgot everything of this world. Through this program, I have met young, young ladies who are on fire for Jesus. Some of the young ladies are beautiful. Literally, you can see the glory of God upon them. 
In fact, without makeup, they look glorious. And I asked myself, I said, Lord, I have done nothing for you yet. Some of these people are hungry for God. Do you know that some young people have gone to do missionary work? Some young people as you are here eating and drinking. Some young men and women are in Iraq. Places that they are able to be killed just like that. Proclaiming the good news of the Lord Jesus. True glamour. I call that true glamour. Some people in heaven will receive proper gifts. Some people in heaven will receive proper crowns. Not the crowns of this world. Not the things of this world that perish. You see the things of this world they perish. The things of this world they perish. So the things that people are up to seeking every day they perish. That is why I came to tell you, young lady, true glamour is not in that way. True, you 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 ask yourself. I, I I'm not here to tell you stories. This program, by the grace of God, has opened my eyes. This program has made me realize that hey, whoa, whoa, beloved people are suffering spiritually and physically. I see a lot of young people sending me messages. Some are men, boys. They have bleached their whole body. I'm not judging anyone. Listen to me. I'm making a point here. They have bleached their whole body. They are wearing all this fake, fake, fake hair long. All made up, some of the makeup, you ask yourself, Mama, where are you going? I said it because I used to be like that, and like you, I didn't know. This is how I used to look. In my head and in front of my friends, my so-called people I call friends, I used to think it was beautiful. But you see, you ask yourself, why is it that after all this you do praise and worship? After all this you are a prayer tower? leader after all this you are a pastor's son daughter after all this in fact you are married to a pastor yet a demon is able to come and speak sleep with you a demon a demon like a snake a demon a python is able to turn into a woman and come and sleep with you for free you wonder why you have gone everywhere you are looking for solution the solution is in what the things you put on Some of you, when we come and stand here, you think we are stupid. It's true. For the wisdom of God is foolishness unto men. I want you to take time and spend time with God. And the Lord Jesus will show you what is on you that attracts demons. Young lady, you are beautiful. You have opened up yourself for spirits to enter you. All you do is you go up brown churches and sleep with the young men of God who are coming up and coming young men of God on fire for the Lord. And yours is to just quench the fire. Tonight you are listening to me and I'm telling you to repent in the name of Jesus. Beloved, you must repent because if you do not repent, the Spirit of God will strike you one of these days. You cannot go about sleeping with men of God and think it's okay. You cannot go about allowing yourself to be possessed. Some of you have turned yourself into say, let me tell you, some of them are church elders, so some of them are even preachers. But everywhere you get to, you are able to scatter the church as if there's, there's no tomorrow. It is a demonic spirit. It is a satanic spirit. It is a demonic spirit that follows you about. So yes, you speak in tongues, but these things are following you. Tonight, I want you to pray and tell Jesus that he should help you. Because he's capable. He is capable. He is capable. My dear, the fact that you mention Jesus' name, does not mean you have a personal relationship with him. You must have a personal relationship with him. Young women, sometimes somebody will send me a message. Why is it that all the men that like me, they just want to sleep with me and, and leave me. And uh, you know, I'll go through their pictures and I send them a message. I said, I'm not prophesying to you. But as a young lady, 
when I look at your pictures, your pictures are inviting men to sleep with you. Maybe you cannot see, but I came to tell you that if you look through your pictures on Facebook, social media, everywhere there's social media, if you look through your pictures, married woman, you call yourself a married woman, you call yourself a church elder, you call yourself a preacher, you preach on Facebook, your breast is all over. Your breast is all over. All you do is seduce men. And guess what? You are, you are throwing something. Very soon you get a reward. So you are seducing men and the men will soon come and sleep with you. Now, I want to I wanna, I, I, I wanna distort this for you. It's not the devil, it's you. You have allowed yourself to be used like that. You think Christ, you must listen to me. The fact that people are doing it in church does not make it right. The fact that the elders are doing it does not make it right. Mama, Papa, the fact that people are talking does not mean you should go and join them and gossip. Young lady, the fact that people are doing it in the choir does not make it right. Perhaps you are here, the Spirit of God is talking to you. You see, every night I don't come here for everybody. I come just for one soul. It's true. That is what this program is called, One Soul at Night. So, the truth we say will not, and not everybody will like it. We are not here to please you. We are here to please Christ Jesus. We are here to let you know that it is appointed once for man to die, my friend. It is appointed once for man to die and after death judgment. Hebrews 7.29 it is appointed once. There's an appointment. That appointment is once. Once. You have a, the, the last appointment. You have the final appointment. It is appointed once for man to die. And after that judgment. Young woman. Young man. Young woman and young man. You wonder why people are raping a lot of you today? Because the way you dress is seductive to them. You dress to seduce men. And men who do not know God. They are like dogs who have been set loose. Any man who does not have the fear of God. Any man who does not have a personal relationship with Jesus. Is like a dog who has been let loose. And guess what? Mama, guess what? The way you are dressing. You wonder why they come and sleep with you and run away? And you wonder why they are not telling you the truth? Is that it's your way of behavior. And it's your way of behavior. It's not a witch, oh. It's not a witch. It is not your grandmother who is minding her business. It is not your mother who has toiled to take you to university. It is not your father who has lost the last money, had last copper to help you to complete your education. Who is also doing you? Now you they do yourself. It's a fact. You are doing yourself. You are doing yourself. All these years you have been introducing demons to your body and they have come. They have come. It is funny when I see, listen. I don't, you see, I don't believe in using my platform to bash any man of God. It is wrong. But the Bible says that we should what? We should tell each other off and put each other right. What is the essence of telling someone about deliverance? When you are not telling them to stop fornicating. When you are not telling them to stop committing adultery. When you are not telling them to stop and run away from sin. And you are always holding deliverance meeting. Oh boy, you are not holding deliverance meeting. Oh. It is gathering to invoke demons even more. Any man of God. Anybody who calls for deliverance but is not telling you to repent from 
fornication. Repent from the way you dress. Repent from the way you look. Look at your hairdo. Look at your makeup. Woman, the Lord gave you natural hair. You say you don't want you will pen. Woman, the Lord gave you kinky hair. You say you don't want you will put on your hair. Woman, the Lord gave you eyebrow. You say, Mba, I will remove it and put my own. Woman, the Lord gave you lip. You say, no, I will put color. Woman, the Lord gave you a nice skin color. You said, no, I will bleach it. Woman, the Lord gave you a body. You said, no, I will use plastic surgery to enhance my body. These are things that introduces demons. These are things that invite demons into your body. I'm telling you. So you can, that is why you wonder why you have been to all the deliverance meetings. They will go for five days, the demons, and now they come. The Bible says, if they go now, when they are coming, they come seven or more. more. Because the root cause of the problem is not prayer. The root cause of the problem is repentance. You must repent and turn from your wicked ways. You must repent and turn from your wicked ways. You must repent and turn from your wicked ways. We must repent and turn from your prostitution because you are sleeping with different men. You are introducing different demons into your body. You are married one, two, three, four. What is wrong with you? You are introducing demons into your body. The greatest deliverance is for you to know that without holiness you cannot see God. My God, my Lord God Almighty, deliver your people. The greatest deliverance. I see a lot of people doing deliverance meetings. You go and they tell you to bring oil. You go and they tell you to do some, some humongous things. The whole things. And because you, I used to be like you. I used to follow them. Stop following them and begin to repent from your sins. Have a personal relationship with Jesus. Young woman, young woman, youth, have a personal relationship with Jesus. Young man, the day you know the truth is the day you realize that you see that masturbation. That masturbation is introducing demons into your life. Because of that masturbation, you will not be able to marry and enjoy your marriage. Because of that masturbation, you will not be able to hold a job. Because of that masturbation, you will not be able to have freedom to live. Liberty to serve God. Liberty to do the will of God. Liberty to please Jesus. Because of that masturbation, that thing you call little, that thing, you introduce demons into yourself. Demons. Demons into yourself. You see, in my language, there's a saying, I don't know how they say it in English. It's not easy. So we see a four year one. We see a mapel. When 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 the witches in your house are doing you, you think women love you. This is how best I can say it. When the kingdom of darkness is controlling you, you think men love you. When the kingdom of darkness is controlling you. You think you women love you. They love me or oh, they shower me. Some of you women, they shower me with presents. But my dear, present, one present, it was sleeping with you for hours. You see that, that exchange of body fluids? If you know the spiritual implication, eh, you would have closed your legs. You would have closed your legs and wait upon God. Wait upon God. Wait upon the promises of God. You would have waited and walked in the holiness of God. Anybody who is trying to work, the, the whole deliverance program, they don't tell you to walk in the righteousness of God. They don't tell you to live a holy life. They don't tell you to live a holy life. And then they tell you to bring money to break altar. Mama, if money breaks altars, the rich people will not have problems. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. They can come and beat me. If your seed sowing breaks altars, 
rich people wouldn't have had problems. Beloved, until you repent and know that without holiness you cannot see God, eh? people will just take your money out of ignorance and build their mansions and build whatever they call their mansions. My dear, wake up from your slumber, young lady. Wake up from your, you see, let me tell you a tr truth. Have you asked yourself, young girl, because the hand of the Lord is upon you. You see, all the men, men of God you meet, so-called men of God, all the so-called prophets, ask yourself, why do they want to sleep with you? Have you asked yourself, why is it that only you, they want to sleep with you? They have seen your, the Bible says, and King Herod saw the star of Jesus, and he wanted to kill baby Jesus. I'm telling you. I am telling you something. You know, today I sit down and I'm like, I sit down sometimes like, I thank God because the Lord really protected me. When I tell you about protection. Because there were a lot of men of God, some of these false prophets who really wanted to sleep with me, eh? But somewhere, somehow, in fact, some of them, because at that time, I must, I didn't know God. So me too, you want to do it, me, I need money. But somehow, even if I decided, the Lord somehow, somewhere will get me out of it. I sit down and I'm like, indeed, the Lord's hand is upon his people. The hand of God is truly upon those that fear him. You know that there are people who are meant to do a specific work on this earth. And it's that they, they are divinely protected. Divinely, because I sit down and I'm like, how did you manage to protect me so much? Young woman, youth, you wonder why you alone, everywhere you go, men of God want to sleep. It's not a church member, so it's the men of God who want to sleep with you. Seated in you, and the day you give in to this nonsense, that would have destroyed your calling, it would have destroyed your purpose. That is why it says, Seek ye first. The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. Do not seek wisdom from no man, seek ye first. The kingdom of God and his righteousness. That is why when young people like me are being raised by the Lord himself, no man, no man by the spirit of God himself, people get worried. Because we carry truth that this generation must know. The truth that we carry is simple, that fear God and walk in the holiness of God. I said no man of God can deliver you. I'm telling you, no man of God can deliver you. No man of God can deliver you but the spirit and the power of God can. Jesus Christ can deliver you the day you decide to repent from your sins. The day you decide never to sleep with that old man again. The day you decide never to sleep with that, that person's husband. The day you decide that you will never prostitute again. The day you decide that you will never drink alcohol again. The day you decide that you will never drink weed again. The day you decide that you refuse to gossip the day you decide that you refuse to dress like a harlot. The day you decide that you refuse to bleach again. The day you decide that I refuse to wear anything that the Lord did not create me with. Do not be deceived at all. You wonder why you go to such places. They pour all your gallons of all your different colors of oil and nothing is happening. The day they pray for you, the day the demons come and sleep with you, ten at the same time. I'm telling you, because some of these people are connected to them anyway. They are agents for them anyway. They dress and they put on tie and suits, and you think that you think what you see is what you see. The Bible says that they are like they are like wolves in sheep's clothing. It's true. 
come out and begin to repent. Every day, ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I cannot do it alone. I can't do it by my strength. I can't do it by my might. Holy Spirit, I cannot do this. Holy Spirit, my body is weak, but my spirit is willing. Holy Spirit, hold my hand. You see, I deliver myself. Begin to pray for your head. Stop going about with your children because they are destroying their destinies. They are destroying your children's destiny and you don't know. You think it's just all your life. You think it's just hand. You, you, everybody want them to lay hands on your children. You want them to lay hands on your children. They bless oil for you, for you to go and cook for your husband. What kind of thing is that? They bless things for you to put in your food for your husband, so your husband will love, her, will love you. What kind of God is this one? The things that you see, the Malams and, 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 and the Marine Kingdom, the things that you see all these occultic people do, those things have entered into the church of God. They have added Christ upon it. They have put in a word of God that matches it perfectly. And you walk about. You think if, if, if deliverance programs really delivers people, nobody would have been, been bound. The greatest deliverance is repenting from your sins. Walking in the holiness and in the righteousness of God. If you are youth here, young man, you have seen that some of your friends, they go to places just to get quick money. Let me tell you, everybody's destiny is different. They have told you to take your mother, take your father, take a woman, sleep with women, so you'll be so rich. Is your body a machine? I pray tonight that the Spirit of God will break the covenant. Break the covenant and rely on God. Break the covenant and rely on God. Because it's only the blessings of God that make it rich. no sorrow young man it's only the blessing of God that makes rich oh, and that richness you will not see sorrow attached to it it's only the Lord Jesus who is able to do so no man no Baba Lawo no Malam no black magic man nobody can do it the way Jesus does it nobody sometimes we think come and give and now you think God is magician. Hmm? All you think about young man, young woman, is for you to be blessed and get quick money. Laziness. Laziness will not kill this generation. I said laziness will not kill this generation. I said laziness will not kill this generation. Ha! Ah, learn to pray and seek God. Eh? Learn to have Christ Jesus as your personal savior. Learn to have Jesus as your best friend. Learn to have Jesus as your everything. Jesus. Jesus. Listen. Some of the stories I have, if I begin to talk about them, the day will break and will still be here. The passion I have for God is not just by mouth. Young woman, young man, I have met a man called Jesus. And this man has turned my life around. My sister, my brother, my mother, my father. I said nobody does it beautiful like Jesus. They never used to tell us to pray and seek God and walk in holiness and righteousness. All they would do is to tell you that there's a spirit in your family that is married to you. Mama, if the spirit of God is inside of you, what kind of spirit can marry to you? If you walk in the holiness and in the righteousness of God, what kind of demon can come and marry to you? You are too powerful for any demon. I said you are too powerful for it. It's ignorance of the highest order. Ignorance. Every day you are going for counseling. Every day you are going for counseling. Mama, ask yourself, you know the prophet, the pastor. In their house, don't they have witches there? If they are able to make everybody rich, you must follow them and go to their family house. You realize that the poorest of the poorest live there. As I said, seek the Lord Jesus and his righteousness. Seek the Lord Jesus' kingdom and his righteousness and every other thing will be added unto you. I'm not going to tell you any 
anything to make you happy. To walk with Jesus is not a joke. Don't be following people blindly. Don't be following people blindly. I said, seek the Lord whilst he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. I'm telling you, you are a married woman. You wonder why a pastor wants to sleep with you to give you a baby. They are not well. That is how ignorant we become. And because you are so desperate, some of you are here, you are watching me. You have already slept with men of God already. Your husband don't even know, but the Lord Jesus knows. That is why tonight I'm telling you to repent and come out of your wicked ways. Repent. Repent and come out of these wicked ways. Why do you think they want to sleep with you? You, you are believing God for a miracle. You are believing God for marriage. You go to a pastor. You go to a prophet. You go to a bishop. You go to social doctor. And all they want is to sleep with you. Don't you know that some of them even pay tickets for women to meet them somewhere to sleep with? They are married men of God. Married. So they can't tell you about holiness and righteousness. Because the word of God itself convict them. So they will not tell you to repent. I say it and I will say it and I will say it to Jesus comes. If you are in any church, I don't care how many branches they have. I don't care how much congregation they have. I don't care the program they do to make you feel comfortable in your sin. If you are in any church, any assembly, when they are not telling you to repent, when they are not telling you to walk in holiness, when they are not telling you to sanctify yourself, when they are not telling you to walk in the holiness of God, when they are not telling you that fornication, adultery, and every other sin is against the will of God, please pack your bag and leave. Run for your life. Pack your bag and leave. It does not matter how the sound will sound, how good the choristers are, how eloquent the preaching sounds. I said, if they're not telling you to repent and walk in the holiness of God, if all they promote is to divorce, 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 if your wife is misbehaving, leave him and find someone, your husband, leave him. All they promote is sin. They promote the youth to sin. They promote the youth to sin. The moment you get that, they get you a boyfriend, a girlfriend, and they give you the assurance that you marry. You are all sitting in the church, you are sleeping together, you are having sex together, and it is comfortable because nobody is telling you to repent. Mama, my dear, my young sister, hey, my young sister, protect your body. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Listen, if I got someone to tell, tell me this some time back, I tell you I will not be here. It has taken the grace of God. It has taken the presence and the power of God to have brought me out of my sin. Because everywhere I went, I was comfortable. <laughs> I said everywhere, every pastor, if you're listening to me and I came to your church, you should be ashamed of yourself. If I've ever come to your church, and I was continuing in my sin comfortably. I said, you must be ashamed of yourself. If you are here, you are listening to me and you know those pastors, the churches I want to do prayer and worship, you must go and tell them that I said they should be ashamed of their, themselves. Why? Because there are many people like me who are heading to hell. Some of them have lost their lives. They did not know about holiness and righteousness. They are dead and they are in hell as I speak to you right now. Wherever you go and they will not tell you holiness. They will not tell you sanctification. They will not tell you righteousness to repent and walk away from sin. They will not tell you to be prayerful. They will not tell you to seek the face of God through the word of God. They will not tell you that, listen, the day you walk in the holiness of God, the day you, stretch, you stop dressing like a harlot, the day you stop dressing like a harlot, the day you stop dressing like a harlot, that day, your deliverance will come. You are asking me, woman, why is it that the men that come to me, they are not serious? Look at yourself. You are attracting what is in you. You are attracting what is in you. And nobody is telling you. But they tell you that if you are able to sow a seed, they will do, give you some direction to break that curse of the spirit coming to sleep with you. It's money. People are hungry for their belly. You see, they have it all. Some of them have money. Some of them are businessmen. I'm telling you, some of them are business tycoons. 
Their children went to all the private schools. Their children are living well, yet they still want your money. Some of them are into even, uh, 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 what is it called? Mortal millionaire things. The little you have, they will take it off you because you are ignorant. You must wake up. My young lady, you are beautiful. Young man, you've been created in the image of God. Even if it's cleaning, young boy, go and do it. Never allow any man to sleep with you behind your back. Young man, listen. There are things that Paul said that we should not even think about talking about church in the, in the house of God. But in this day and age, it is happening. We must address it. We must address it. Young man, listen to me. The hand of God is upon you. So the enemy will bring people your way who would want to destroy what God has deposited in your spirit. Yet to be manifested. Yet to be manifested. Remember baby Jesus. Because of baby Jesus, they killed a lot of young boys. Young babies. Young babies. Young babies because they wanted to kill Jesus. So they had to run to Egypt. They had to hide Jesus. Listen to me, young man. You might not have told anybody. But you have met great men, even men of God, who will tell you, let us sleep behind your back. So don't me. Young lady, listen to me. You have met a lot of young uh, pastors, even older pastors, they want to sleep with you. It's because of what the Lord has deposited in you. They want to quench the spirit of God upon you. They want to quench the fire. Do not allow the devil to quench the fire. Do not allow the devil to quench the fire. Do not allow the enemy to quench the fire. The Bible says, by their fruit ye shall know them. By their fruit ye shall know them. By their fruit ye shall know them. You are a young man here. You have issues. You have problem with women. Womanizing. Masturbation. Some of you are already committing sodomy. Some of you, you go to church, you are still doing it. I come to you by the message of God. Tonight, this is your day of salvation. This is your time of salvation. It is abomination. It's not fashion. It is abomination. It's not fashion. It is abomination. It's not fashion. Don't follow the westerners. Repent. 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 Allow the Spirit of God to have a relationship with you. Allow the power of God to come upon you. Everything you ever desired. If you will serve God in holiness and in righteousness. My friend, I said I serve a living God. Who takes the foolish things of this world to confound the wise? I serve a God who has no respecter of persons. I serve a God who does not qualify, who does not use the qualifier, but he qualifies the call. I serve a mighty God. I serve a mighty God. I serve a mighty God who the stones that the builders have rejected, the stones that the builders have rejected, he uses them and makes them a cornerstone. That is why I said, run to Jesus. Walk in the holiness of God. Do not listen to what people say. Listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying. Listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying. Jesus Christ is coming again. The Lord Jesus is coming for those whose robes have been washed in the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ is coming not for church goers. Jesus Christ is not coming for those who speak in tongues. So Jesus Christ is not coming for those who know about God. Oh, Jesus Christ is coming for those whose robes have been washed in the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ is coming for those who are washed, walking in the holiness and in the righteousness of God. I beg of you in the name of Jesus. Run for your soul. 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 You are here, you are listening to me. This is one soul at night. This is one soul at night. Please give your life to Jesus. Repent. Beloved of God, tomorrow night is going to be fireworks. We are having a visitor. Brother Yao Boredu is coming tomorrow at 9 o'clock by the grace of God. Same time tomorrow. And I tell you, this is a youth week. This week is for youth. If you are youth here and you have a problem, that a spirit comes and sleep with you. A spirit literally, a lady sent me a message and called me. Listen, the lady said this is to the glory of God. In fact, let me let me stop this and say this. This is to the glory of God. 
I don't have a clue. When somebody comes here and receive their miracle and receive their healing and receive their deliverance, you must understand that I don't have a clue how it happens. This is the work of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, I do not take any credit for anything here. No credit for anything here. Everything that happens to each and individual person is by the power of the Holy Spirit. I tell you of the truth. Let me tell you something. There's a young lady who sent me a message, a recorded one, because I think she had, she had been reaching me, she couldn't get hold of me. So I, she sent me a recorded message and said, Esther, Esther, you must hear me. You, are, you must call, pick your call. You must hear me out because your Lord Jesus, the Jesus you are serving, has delivered me. So I returned from work and she called again. I, as a matter of fact, I called her. I called her back when I heard that message. The lady said that she was just there. She was married at the age of 16. Listen. Properly married. Wedding, everything. She was in abroad with her husband. The husband went to Africa for some funny reason. He couldn't come back due to papers and stuff. The whole thing is the lady now went on to marry another woman. Listen to this. Had two children with a different man. The lady said that one day he was there and the spirit entered her. She could feel that a spirit, a demonic spirit entered into her. This is not a dream. You people who serve God anyhow. You see, you serve God anyhow. Some of your behavior do you think is normal. A spirit entered into her. Since that day, anytime he sleeps, it's as if something comes and binds her. He cannot move, she cannot do anything. That thing has been going on for years. She has gone to every prophet. They give her a different kind of oil, different kind of direction. I think on Tuesday, I was talking, uh, we were discussing about Christ like this. And the Lord Jesus, the Spirit of God led me to do ministration. I said, I see a lot of demons coming out. She said she was watching the video, the, the, the life. And the Spirit began to manifest. Began to come out of her. The Spirit came out of her. She manifested for three hours. She was delivered within three hours. That was the power of the Holy Spirit. So she called me and said, Mama, you have no idea. I've been everywhere. I've been to every prophet I know. I've been with everything. I've used a lot of oil, everything. But the Spirit of God, the God that you serve, she said, He's a living God. I am liberated. He said, she said, the moment after she had. The, the Spirit of God had delivered her. She was very close, so, but she quickly said, I'm naked. I, want, I need something to cover myself. This is the work of the Holy Spirit. I give the Spirit of God, the Master Jesus, God Almighty, all the glory. Let me tell you something. If you obey the will and the word and the principle of God, you will speak and demons will obey you. The Spirit of God will use you to liberate a lot of lives. And if it's truly the work of God, you will not even bother giving credit to yourself. So she called me and said, it's not me. Oh. If you ask me now, 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 I cannot tell you a lot of, you know, testimonies that the Lord has done in the lives of many people. A lot and a lot and a lot and a lot and all glory goes to Jesus. We must repent and walk in the holiness of God. We must repent and walk in the righteousness of God. That is the greatest deliverance. It's not someone laying hands and people going round and round and falling and rising and, and the spirit is still there. Repent. Walk in holiness. Be prayerful. Learn how to fast. Allow the spirit of God to, to take over your body, your spirit, soul, mind, everything. Have a personal relationship with God, young woman, young man. Let the Spirit of God take absolute control over you. That is when you will see that, yes, there is joy in serving Jesus. It's not just about going to church. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. 
praise the name of the Lord God Almighty. Be prayerful. Walk in the holiness and in the righteousness of God. Beloved, sanctify yourself. Sanctify yourself, young lady. Today in England here, when you are driving past young people, the youth going to school, their skirt is, uh, uh, is right under their buttocks, their bum. As young as 13, 12. Yesterday I saw one and I, I, I stopped. I said, what is wrong with you? Your school uniform, your skirt is, you, 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 when you kneel down, your bottom is all over. What are you looking for? Mothers, we must learn to teach our children how to dress modestly. Because you wonder why young men are sleeping with your young girls? It's the way you are dressing them. The way you are dressing them to address society is the result. The result is what we are getting. Leave the witches out of it. In fact, the witches are even tired nowadays. They have realized many, they are many, they have recruited so many people. Witches don't operate anymore. They are powerless. Witches. They are so powerless. Eh? When you meet them, that's why I come here and I say, you agents, you are powerless. You don't even know. You are so powerless. You are powerless. I mean, she, she. Even your boy, the devil is under her feet. That should tell you that you are powerless. If you repent, find a way to repent and allow God to save you. And stop all this kiki me. If your agent here said you are powerless, that's what I came to tell you. You can try us for all you like. You can fight us for all you like, spiritually, physically. We are not moved though. We serve a God who is a rock. He himself is a rock, rock of ages. He's not just a rock, oh, now rock of ages. <laughs> I said the Lord Jesus is not just a rock. He is rock of ages, ancient of days. Old Roger, I call him so. A great God, mighty giant. No weapon, no weapon formed against us will prosper. And every time that will rise against us, we bring it under the subjection of the Holy Ghost. We speak under the authority of the Holy Spirit. Under the unction of the Holy Spirit. It's not by might. Me, I don't get might. Too. If you come here because of my might, you would have beaten me a long time ago. But forget it. I come here in the name of Jesus. If you want to beat me, go beat Jesus first. Oh yeah. If you are strong, you must repent and walk in the holiness of God. Repent and walk in the righteousness of God. Young woman, you are believing God for husband. Look at how you are dressed. At the age of 40, 45, 46, you, are still, you still have a boyfriend. And you are comfortable telling everybody, this is my boyfriend. At your age, you still have your, 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 your child's father come sleep with you and go at your age. And you blame demons. You are not well. You see, these are things that pastors need to address. Even if it's left with one congregation member, preach. People are ignorant. At the age of 35, 30, in fact now, 18 year olds are believing God for husband and they are getting married. At your age. Unless you have decided to serve God all your life. But at your age, mama, auntie, at your age you still have a boyfriend that he comes and sleep with you and go. This is a problem. And then you call and tell us that a spirit comes and sleep with you. You have opened a great door and they will come. Until you repent, they will keep coming. You see, I'm not going to pamper you at all. Until you repent, they will keep coming. They will keep coming in their numbers. I said, until you repent and walk away from sin and walk in the righteousness of God, the demons will come and sleep with you. What they do to deceive you is this. They take people's face and you think it's your auntie, it's your grandma. No. Your sin has recruited people from the kingdom of darkness. And they are telling you, they are controlling your life. I'm telling you, you want to marry, the only one who is able to give you a good husband is no man but Jesus. Do you think if a man is able to sleep with you and marry you, the prostitute wouldn't have had problems? Prostitutes. Because they are able to manage many men. So sleeping with a man and thinking he will marry you is a false alarm. Repent and walk in the holiness of God. 
Repent and walk in the righteousness of God. Young lady, you are 20, 21, 20, you still think you are young. You are not young. You must not hang around a boyfriend sleeping with you every day. Young woman, you are grown, you are fresh. Seek God whilst he may be found. Youth, seek God. Seek God. Walk in the holiness of God. Don't allow any man to use your body. Sleeping with you does not mean they will marry you tomorrow. Fornicators will not enter into the kingdom of God. Adulterers will not enter into the kingdom of God. Drunkards will not enter into the kingdom of God. May the Lord bless you tonight. I want you to open your Bible. Let's do it quickly. Let's do it quickly. We must repent. Youth, you are the future of this generation. Young lady, look at yourself. I don't want you to ever look at yourself and think you are ugly so you allow any man who says you are pretty to sleep with you again. You are beautiful. If you are with friends who are doing the same thing, allow God to let them go out of your life and walk alone. It is better to walk alone to heaven than walk with many people to hell. It is better to walk alone to heaven you know, than to walk with many friends who lead you to hell. I'm telling you, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Make room for Him. Because when He comes in, there are things you will not even pray for. It will happen. Jesus. Young man, never allow any man to deceive you. Any friend to tell you to go and get something to be rich. Great richness and peace comes from the Lord Jesus. Great riches and peace comes from the Lord Jesus. The devil can give you something today, but you will pay it dearly with your life. You will pay it dearly. Some of you, you think you are going to pastors. You don't know. You are going to Baba Lawas in suit. They are not telling you. And every day they are delivering. You wonder what are they delivering? Deliverance, 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 no eternity, no righteousness, no holiness. What are they delivering you from? What is the essence of someone delivering you from, from, from what? what? From witchcraft? When you yourself, you live with your husband, your boyfriend. <laughs> you are laughing. What is the essence of someone? You see, delivering you whilst you yourself, you are living with someone's husband. Oh, come on, man. Wake up. Wake up. Thank you, Jesus. I want us to, we're going to, please be attentive and be attentive and let's share this quickly and let me go. I'm tired. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Samuel chapter 3. I want us to read from 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 First Samuel three three to seven. First Samuel chapter three, verse three to seven. Okay. And the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Listen. And Samuel or Samuel was laid down to sleep. Samuel was laid down to sleep. Samuel was laid down to sleep. Are you listening to me? First Samuel chapter 3. And the Lamb of God went out in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was, and Samuel was laid down to sleep. For that the Lord called Samuel, and he answered, Here I am. And he ran unto Eli and said, Here am I, for thou callest me. And he said, I called not. Lie down again. And he went and lay down. Listen to this, please. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Ah, and six, six, six. And the Lord called yet again. 
Samuel. And Samuel arose and went to Eli and said, Here am I, for thou didst call me. And he answered, I called not. My son, lie down again. Seven. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord. This is what the, this is what the, the whole issue is. Now Samuel, listen up. Can you imagine? The Bible says that Samuel laid by the Ark of the Covenant. Samuel was laid in the presence of God. One, he did not acknowledge the voice of God. So I was asking myself, so why did Samuel not acknowledge the voice of God? And now I come to seven and the answer is at seven. Because why? He says, because now because Samuel did not yet know the Lord. Samuel did not yet know the Lord. Yet he was lying in the temple of God. Yet the Bible says here, he was ministering unto the Lord. When you read from 3 1, he says, chapter 3, verse 1, and the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. Samuel was ministering unto the Lord before Eli. The Bible says he was laid, he used to lay next to the Ark of the Covenant. But seven tells you that yet Samuel did not know the Lord. Ah, young people, the fact that you talk about Jesus, the fact that you go to church, the fact that you talk about him, does not mean you know him. No wonder why he did not hear the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody clap for the Holy Spirit. Somebody clap for the Holy Spirit. Somebody just give a clap offering unto the Holy Ghost. So if people ask me, why is it that I've been to every deliverance meeting, I've been everywhere, everywhere I've been to, yet... I cannot stop masturbating yet. I cannot stop, you know, womanizing yet. I cannot stop some of the things I'm going to say to them because you do not know God yet. Ah. And because somebody has not stopped you to tell you to walk in the holiness of God. Because mama, papa, young lady, young man without holiness, you cannot see God. You see, God will not go outside of this word of God. Because we don't know God, people will choose some part of the Bible and stand upon it and be telling you gibberish. Take the word of God just as it is. Begin to seek God. Repent from your sin. Walk in the holiness of God and possess your possession. Who can touch you better than the Holy Spirit? Who can deliver you better than the Holy Spirit? If you hear that person, let me know. Nobody can work on you better than the Holy Ghost. Because I'm not telling you Bible story, so I'm telling you from my life, my experience, that nobody does it better. Transformation comes from above. No man. Clap for Jesus. So if you're here and you like roaming about, sometimes you use your money to exchange the gift of God. You think you will, you will sow a seed and buy things and that a, 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 a demon will flee dead because you sowed on which altar the question you must ask is which altar are you sowing your seeds on which altar are you sowing your seeds on and they are not telling you to walk away from sin they are not telling you to walk in the righteousness of God they are not telling you to walk in the holiness of God they are not telling you to repent from your sin they are not telling you to sanctify yourself and see the glory of God which altar is that which altar is that? May the Lord help this generation. If you are here, you see, since that pastor laid hand on that child, you see what is manifesting. We have led our children into a lot of things that it takes the Spirit of God to liberate our children and our homes. It's my prayer that you will seek Him. Seek Jesus. Seek the Holy Spirit. Have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Almighty. And feed the poor, feed the needy. Eh? Feed the poor. Repent from your sin. Walk in the holiness of God. Feed the, feed the, uh, 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 what is it called? 
the widows. Go to the orphanage and do the kids good. These are the things that opens doors. It's not what we're doing. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you. May He give you peace. Be prayerful. Be prayerful. Study the word of God. Fast like a mad woman. Fast like a madman. Be strong. Work on your soul. Because Jesus Christ is coming again. Ah, Jesus Christ is coming again. He's coming only for the righteous. He's not coming for churchgoers. May the Lord bless you real good. You are here, you want to give your life to Jesus. I want you to lift up your two hands to God. Lift up your two hands, lift up your two hands. This is one soul and night. Everything we do here, Mama, Papa, young people, youth, you are here, you want to dedicate your life to Jesus. After this, you have to find a place to, 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 to. If you are in Ghana, I want you to contact Brother Yao. Let him baptize you in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be baptized after this, and your life can never be the same again. Christianity is sweet. Knowing Jesus is everything. I have enjoyed knowing Christ. I have enjoyed having an encounter with Jesus. I have enjoyed having a relationship with Christ. And no man can take this joy away from me. I want you to lift up your two hands. This is one soul at night where Jesus Christ is lifted above every other thing. But the Lord Jesus is exalted. When the name of Christ moves, where we speak on diluted word of God, where we speak and tell you to repent and walk in the holiness of God, where we tell you that without holiness you cannot see God, where we tell you that you must abide and obey the word of God, you must obey the principles of God, without that you cannot see God. What we tell you to come out of the broad road and get on the narrow road. Because the broad road will lead you to destruction, will lead you to hell. But the narrow road will prepare you for a place of rest. I want you to lift up your two hands, my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Say this words after me, please, with humility. And speak it. Mean it. Jesus is right at the door of your heart. My dear sister, brother, you allow him in. This is the beginning of your ministry. This is the beginning of your revival. This is the beginning of your deliverance. Nobody will touch you wherever you are, but the Spirit of God will come and touch you. The Spirit of God will come and deliver you just like that. Somebody said, He delivered me just like that. And I say, He will deliver you just like that. Somebody gave the Spirit of God a clap of free. Now say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before your throne of grace. I'm a sinner. I repent from my sins tonight. I know you came to share your blood, shed your blood on the cross for my sins. Say, I accept. Say, Lord Jesus, I accept your free gift of salvation tonight, right now. as my Lord and my personal Savior come into my heart come and live inside of me come and teach me and direct me say Holy Spirit come and teach me to all truths say Lord Jesus please write my name in the book of life Amen Beloved we welcome you into the body of Christ all that we have done and said, this is the only thing that makes the whole host of heaven rejoice. When, when a sinner repents. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. Tonight is another wonderful night. Youth, youth, you belong to Christ. You must not die in your sin. You must not die in your sin. the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Tonight, tomorrow night is going to be fireworks by the grace of God. If the Lord tarries, we'll be here again. We're doing it this throughout the week. Brother, I will be live with you, talking to you according to the utterance of the Holy Spirit. By all means, one soul will be saved. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Beloved, don't forget we keep announcing. Brother Yo is coming tomorrow night. Also, we have a project for the November 2018 in Ghana, Accra. We are holding a crusade by the grace of God. One soul at night is coming live at you. We are coming live at you. We are coming live at you. We need your support in prayer. We need your financial support. We need your support in every way. We need your support in every way. There are people we need to buy tickets for, for them to follow us to Ghana, Accra. We are believing God that the Lord Jesus will move. We are believing God for a big uh, choir, choir members. We are believing God to buy them the uniform. We are believing God. We don't have anything. We are trusting God. This is a move of faith. We must go to Africa. We must go everywhere that will be accepted and gather the youth for Christ. We must gather the youth for Christ. We must gather the youth for Christ. Because in this end time, the Lord is about to use the youth. He's already started. But there are more who are in the prisons. There are more who are into prostitution. There are more who are yet still, still lost. There are more out there who are still lost. Some of them even are mad men. Some of them have lost their mind. But by the Spirit of God, by the power of the Most High God, as we step out of faith to speak the word of salvation to the people of God, we know that by all means, every night, one soul will be saved. Pray with us. This is not a place where we want to, you know, people give us money and we'll use it for nonsense. By the grace of God, the Lord has favored us in many ways. But we need your support because this program must happen. What happens is if the Lord is able for us to tap this down, He is able anyway. We will start moving across nations. We will start roaming about one soul a night. This one soul a night that you see here, this has been pioneered here by the Spirit of God. And this, this you see this small thing that you look at us and you laugh, you tease, you insult us. The Lord Jesus is carrying one soul a night across the nations of the world. That the youth will learn how to dress modestly. That the youth will learn how to prepare themselves in holiness and in righteousness. In preparation for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he give you peace. May the Lord bless you. Have a good night. I love you with the love of the Lord. And there's nothing you can do about it. Have a good night. God bless you. See you tomorrow night sharp, 9 o'clock. UK time, we'll be here. Whether the devil likes it or yet. We'll be here live. 9 o'clock sharp. May God bless you. Have a good night. Keep us in your prayer. Amen. God bless you. Somebody's asking for, somebody's asking for my PayPal account. It's E Saforo. You see my initial E and my surname Saforo. E Saforo at yahoo.co.uk. E Saforo at yahoo.co.uk. Beloved, we are going to Ghana whether the devil like it or not. We are holding this program and you see, we are trusting God that we will, He will get up every need because one soul a night must come out. One soul a night must come out. This one soul a night is not for England only. This one soul a night is not for Ghana only. This one soul a night is not for the youth only. This one soul a night, we are depopulating the kingdom of darkness. We are depopulating the kingdom of hell. Whether the devil likes it or yes, my PayPal account is e Saforo, e for Echo, Saforo, my surname, e Saforo at yahoo.co.uk. We are doing this announcement till September, October, because November we are going to Ghana. We will hold it at Circle, I don't know where. They are still looking for a place by the grace of God. We will hold it live. Seven days program by the grace of God. It will be fireworks. It will be fireworks. Trust me, souls will be saved. Souls will be liberated. If people are doing it, 
the youth we can do it better in the name of Jesus may the Lord bless you may the Lord bless you may the Lord bless you so much tell sister Gladys I love her so much and there's nothing she can do about it by fire by force beloved we are serious you must support us this program support us hold our waist and support this program because we must do this to depopulate the kingdom of darkness I'm telling you me I don't have any connection in Ghana I don't know anybody I don't know any pastor I don't have any connection the Lord has told me that circle Accra that is where we'll go first and I'm trusting God if he has spoken he will do it so I'm trusting God share this video please share this video share this video we are not looking for single musicians we are looking for choir members because we want a lot of choir members who come together as one something that will happen in heaven is what we're doing and we will worship God we will worship God we will speak the undiluted word of God souls will be will give their life to Jesus that is what it's all about apart from that there's nothing sister Gladys I can see you God bless you I love you so much and there's nothing you can do about it I love you sister precious I love you everyone may God bless you Auntie Flo, my best auntie in the whole wide world. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Sister Linda, you know how it is. God bless you. Auntie Mary and God bless you so much. I love you all. You people have brought sense. You people have spread this program and it's everywhere. And the truth is, and the fact is, many have given their life to Jesus already. We want to invade the kingdom of darkness. And we want to confuse the kingdom of darkness and de depopulate them, depopulate what they are doing. The Bible says that hell, Isaiah 5 14, hell has enlarged itself. Hell has enlarged itself. Oh. In other words, hell has made enough room for more souls. In battle, on this, on this, uh, 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 in our generation, we must stop it. We must stop it. We must stop. We must, we must depopulate hell. We must depopulate hell. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he give you peace. Good night. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.